Marie Swan, whatever, has AIDS. We're saying that she said she cured herself from AIDS. She said that. We don't know if she even ever had AIDS. We don't know. We, we do not know that. I was in that locker room and I heard with my own two ears that she said that. Do I know if she had AIDS? No. Do I know if she still has AIDS? No, I don't. She's not my friend. I don't know that. The only thing I know is that she said, I cured myself of AIDS. Like, huh? That's it, okay? So stop, please. Because now they're going to try and say, oh, Cardi Trenton said, nah, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> we put this out there right now. Nope, didn't say that. No, what it, like, yo, I'm gonna tell y'all that, that after this live and all of this stuff, or whatever Cardi decides to do, she does. That's for her purposes and stuff like that. But you won't be hearing about this shit from me no more. We just had to put this to rest because it's been going on too long. This girl has literally been posting <laughs> stuff up for a whole month trying for somebody to respond to her, and nobody mm -hmm. ever said nothing. We didn't even know the girl was out there doing that. We didn't even mm -hmm. hear about the interview until the viral thing going viral or whatever. And then she talked about something. I wasn't paying Cardi no attention. I thought Cardi was lurking my page so why you gonna lie viral for because they're fighting what the hell there's mad black girls you stand up for black queens and princesses of the world so why you only mad that cardi is out here fighting you see this exactly. fight every day every day every day <laughs> where was you out here advocating against starkeisha or whatever her damn name was when she was out here stomping bitches where was you at where was, Where you was your antennas then, okay? Where was your antennas when Star Keisha was out here whooping bitches' asses and now all of a sudden because Cardi is who she is and you know her, you mad. Exactly. You are a exactly. lunatic, my girl. You are a lunatic. Yeah, look, and somebody you just said that. That's funny. Me and asking for some goddamn mental goddamn medicine, God bless you. Well, you that's what but, you should have did. God bless him, but guess what? You can go to Yada Awakening. He will help you. I think he's in Ecuador. You know, he got you. He can help you, girl. Promise. I promise. I'll follow yo, him. Yo, and the thing that, yo, the girl <laughs> is a pretty girl. I'm not, like, no, I'm, you know, it's crazy because we're not doing this to even, like, trying to make fun of this girl. It's just true facts. The girl was a Looney Tune Ben. The girl was a girl. The girl was a She was Tune every, ben. but this is the thing. Everybody in the club was like, yo, she's crazy. Like, I remember people telling me, like, yo, y'all better watch out for her because she's nuts. And I'm like, you know, and us, Tasha K, you better change up your wine. That wine you drinking, girl, got you delusional as hell. That wine okay. sitting there, you can listen to any damn thing. <laughs> Anything. You sit exactly. down and listen to a whole damn show knowing the girl lying, knowing the damn girl ain't got no real proof. What was the receipt that y'all said y'all had? Y'all waited until all of us start freaking responding, and then you let Swan convince your ass again. She got you in a sucking space again and made you think that, oh, you see? You see? If she doesn't know me, her friends are going hard for her. Bitch, that's our friend. You be going to go hard because you lying. You came out of five years of hiding. Rip, 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 rip. You just decided to wake up five years later. Talking about some, I know Cardi. Cardi threw hot coffee on me. Cardi had spotlight punch me in my face. She had girls ordered me to punch me in my face. You just said that Cardi was not that that little mean girl that she tried to be. She wasn't a thug and none of that when you met her. So how was she doing all that shit back then? Exactly. Now, how but was all she of a sudden, sitting there having people trying to punch you in your face and all that. If Cardi was an innocent girl, she was nice. Why would you want to go stay with somebody who was making them punch you in the face and all that? That don't make sense. Cause if that was me. I ain't about you. Ain't about to manipulate me, bitch. You ain't exactly. about to manipulate me. Not. That's manipulating. She ain't about to manipulate me and have okay. me come stay at your house. Have all your friends come freaking jump me. Exactly. No. You was exactly. at goddamn Atlanta and you came up here. And then out of nowhere, you talk about some, oh, you was going back and forth to Atlanta. What was you going back and forth to Atlanta for? Because you wasn't going here to see your son. And how if you were mandated to the state? If you would have came through TSA, they'd have been like, ah, no. And you would have got a probation violation. Okay? So what happened? You just, they wasn't tripping your pro officer. Yeah, you would go to New York and strip. Yeah, that's cool. For, I'm for all you, these parole, probation officers are going to be like, listen. You better figure it out right here within these state lines. Period. I said, hey, Jackie old stacky. I said manipulated, but I said manipulated. That's a little slang word, like manipulated. <laughs> I was making fun, you know. It's manipulated. But anyway, I, I, my thing is this. Are you there? Is my, my, my thing. They got to call me back. Yeah. Exactly. Yo, Bella, Renee. Exactly. How can you get somebody to throw hot coffee on you in front of the cops? Now, everybody knows that you can come to sue on a popping night. They 
was in front of Sue. She said she wasn't coming on the weekend. The cops did not come out there on a the regular during a week like that. That was back then. With exactly. Maybe, maybe, maybe on a Tuesday. Maybe no, on a Tuesday back then. At this time, even what's the name and wasn't there. Rhetoric, what, rhetoric and stuff wasn't there. Went back then, like. Um, but before, before was, rhetoric, before rhetoric came. Uh, oh. Um. Tuesday, Sean Gray was doing Tuesdays before Rhetoric came over there. Sean Gray, what? Sean Gray was there when the club got remodeled. Anybody, anybody that I know, I'm still I don't think that's a good there question. Much longer mm -hmm. after um, when Swan came, I don't think there was no Sean. It wasn't really too much enough going on. We were just in yeah. working and shit like that. So how could she talk about somebody threw some hot coffee on her and in front of the police? In front of the police, there was no club. Everybody already know. On the weekends, like I said, when you come here, the cops is out there. If the cops happen to be there on a regular night or whatever, bitch, you are going to jail. We seen two girls. I ain't even going to put their names out there, but two girls were fighting in front of Sue's a little down the way. These bitches got uh, arrested in front of the damn um, cops in front of the parking lot. Remember Sue's parking lot? Mm-hmm. Just see them got arrested, but so how you go get arrested and somebody throw um, hot coffee on you? Okay, you didn't exactly. Reach. What you got exactly. to do, bitch? Exactly. Or is it, it was just, just lukewarm, so it didn't really burn. So then you need to say it was like cold coffee or something. Oh, somebody said, she, no, somebody, Marina Fly, she said the, the hot coffee was in um, uh, Georgia. Georgia. So, oh, who danced in Georgia? Nobody. Who we party didn't even, even live in Georgia? Yo, we never, none of the squad, none of us, we used to travel around. When Cardi made it big, like I said before, when Cardi got big on Instagram, I started manager and, and she was doing all these clubs. We never danced in Atlanta before. I remember going to a club in Atlanta with her, but we she we never danced in Atlanta with her. She never been to no house, none of the places that <laughs> Cardi has been to in Atlanta. Bitch, we her day once, and we just went to Atlanta for her baby shower. So <laughs> how the hell you get to Atlanta before we did when this was way back then? Cardi wasn't even involved with nobody in Atlanta back in 2013. <laughs> this is funny. I'm sorry. And even if the even even what? if the um the coffee story was supposed to be in New York. There's no way nobody is throwing coffee, hot coffee on nobody in front of the cops and you're not screaming and, and exactly. this person not getting arrested. So they It was in Georgia, thing. New York. <laughs> wait, that's a place. They don't even make no damn sense. Oh, they playing, they playing, they playing. Play they, play they, play they play I was like, wait, is that a real... Y'all know I'm from Cali, don't play like that. And, and, and Cardi didn't get her fired. I believe, this is the last thing I believe, was that when... um. The last time I think I seen Swan is after she got in that fight when when Spotlight washed her ass right quick. I think she left after that. I don't remember her comeback. No, to the club. Spotlight. No, did she come back to the club after you beat her up. No, I think she did. I when she got. Wait, was that before or after the herpes um, situation? No, that was that was before. The, allegedly, that's why Spotlight think um, they fought because she Spotlight was going around saying they was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Else was saying they she got a bum bum on her lip or some shit like that, and mm -hmm. she tried to say um, that Cardi ordered her girls to jump on her. Spotlight, I mean Spotlight must have been was beating your ass so much you must have thought it was a couple girls. Yeah, because for real, not for nothing, um, Cardi did not get that girl kicked out the club. Yeah, At we all. get kicked out of what? We club? ain't never, we ain't never, us as a squad, us individually, we've never got anybody a stay away from the club. We, we, we never did that. I, at least as far as my memory goes back, I, we, we didn't. We've gotten separate, you know, individual altercations. We got into a squad altercation and still those people still came back to the club. We came back to the club. You know, when we all left, we left because we wanted to or because in Cardi's situation, she more, she had a if you talk, this girl said she was making that much money and Cardi ran her out of New York or whatever and she left bags, singles and stuff like that in her apartment with money in it. I don't know nothing about that because at the end of the day, like, we wasn't staying there with the girl, whatever, the apartment that she was in. But that, that I don't even know why did she even bring that up? Like, she, she was too scared, too scared to go get her money. Bitch, you had exactly. something, you said you at least had $500 in there. See, that's the stuff she used to do. She tried to make it seem like Oh, money is not, not no problem for her. Her money is long. That's the thing she used to do. Nobody even cared about your survival. What you do. Nobody counted nobody's money. She said she... Wait, hold on. It said, yeah, she said Georgia on the live, but what? No, nothing ever happened in Georgia with Cardi. No, she's saying... They're saying that Swan switched up her story, basically. Said it happened oh, yeah. in Georgia. Then she tried to say it happened in New York. And as far she as Cardi sending death threats, no, Cardi never...
sent a death threat or had anybody send death threats to this girl for what for one and for two you guys have to remember um cardi is who she is and she has a lot of fans and you see how hard we're going for her we may be her real friends but there are fans that will not sleep until they get to the bottom of something there are fans that you can be walking and say fuck that bitch cardi and they will sock you like we can't control that. Cardi can't control that. Okay, like, wait a minute. Hold on. Because somebody gave this sentence, like, over. No, she didn't give that damn girl no clothes. Ashanti and Sweeney uh, and Cardi and I, we good friends. Who the hell is sharing goddamn clothes? Cardi None of us. About Cardi. We used to always Cardi buy outfits. Even... Exactly. Cardi was buying outfits every damn day she came to work. Let me tell y'all why. Because we go pick her up. This girl, I ain't trying to be funny. This girl will leave stuff at all of our houses. Everybody knows that. Everybody that knows Cardi. Cardi could come to my house. She forgot something at my house. She'll go over to Shanti. She ain't got shit. She left her shit over there. She even used to leave stuff at, like, and just everywhere. She left stuff everywhere. So if she have a mismatch, like, even if y'all seen her in some of her videos, she would have, like, a different bikini top. We all used to, oh, we used to laugh. <laughs> Yo, and I'm going to be real with you guys, and I'm going to be honest. I'm from Cali. I love my Mexicans. I got family that are Mexicans. So I used to be like, oh, that's my little Mexican, okay? <laughs> and I am not racist, okay? Yeah. But see, you just, you know, like, it was just our little thing. Like, This we is why she, nobody, girl, you talking about, she talking about she was wearing nice outfits and shit. She gave Cardi some of her stuff. Yo, like, fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, this shit is mad funny. That girl didn't give her no damn clothes or nothing like that. She didn't now, give her clothes. you want to give somebody your stuff or let them borrow your stuff if you talk about they got monostat every damn wear? You're a exactly. liar. Exactly. Stop it. Yo, that don't make no sense. Yo, let me tell y'all. This damn girl is a liar. It's so funny. I can't. I can't, yo. I can't. You're not going to make me. Yeah, make me. Yeah, I... Like, wait, who? Let me go back to my daily thing. You do? All right, y'all. So we basically just talking about everything, what was going on. If y'all got any questions, y'all can put your questions out now. Yeah. It ain't gonna be no questions about Nicki Minaj. The first person I see that's gonna be a question about Nicki Minaj again. This has nothing to do with Nicki Minaj. They are about yeah, not at all. Put it out of the line. Yeah. Nothing to do with her. This ain't no beef. This ain't no drama. Nothing to do with her. The only thing that we're saying, we mentioned her name wise, is because one out of the two came up and tried to do all this for clout just because she knows that there's something going on between her, Cardi, and Nicki Minaj. Yeah. And we we don't, that Cardi and Nicki Minaj, beef that has nothing to do with us. We are talking about the girl we actually know. That swan star Marie psychotic sis. <laughs> That's how we go. <laughs> when are we going to say that? God damn it. And let me tell you, I, I have family members who are prone, like as females, to bacteria infections or to yeast infections. I don't mean that you're nasty or nothing like that. Some females are very sensitive to, to different things. So they could get bacteria infections. They could get yeast infections. That doesn't mean that you're a nasty bitch. Exactly. You're nasty. There's a probably a lot of girls in here right now that be like, they get bacteria infections from washing they, they, they ass. That don't mean nothing that you freaking are nasty or anything like that. But I tell you and what. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, because it's off subject. Finish yours. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. I'd rather somebody have everything in their, uh, you know, to know what, what's going on with their body taking care of it oh. instead of just sitting there <laughs> yeah. feeling nasty I and doing all that stuff like that. Yes, it's a pH thing. Some females' pH things can be off where they're very sensitive. So they don't got nothing to do with that. Like, like for me, y'all, I'm sorry. We're going to get a little personal right quick. I cannot use plastic tampons. Like, I got to use them hard, the cardboard ass shit. I don't shit, like the okay? obvious shit. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I don't like the cardboards. I like the goddamn plastic ones. Slide them you out see? Out. You see? Yeah. So <laughs> You got to know your body. Yeast infections from antibiotics. Virgins. Virgins can get goddamn yeast infections. You so can get that. You can get a. You can get a, a bacterial infection from using the wrong laundry detergent on your underwear. So if stop know, it. Y'all day one followers that used to see videos of us dancing in, in the club and all that. If y'all seen videos, we all. Oh, let me tell y'all right now. We used to do a lot of tricks where your head gotta be on top of my ass or a cooch damn near in my face. Y'all seen the tricks and no one in four of us. If we was like. If they would, we would ask each other, like, girl, do I smell a little funny? And we, because we are friends, I'd be like, all right, yeah, you smell a little, or you, she'll tell me, yeah, all right. But we making sure our shit is checked so nobody can ever talk about us. That's what real friends do. So exactly. if, any, if Cardi was ever going out there and thinking, that means that we was thinking too, because nobody was telling the truth about nobody. Yeah. That don't make exactly. sense. 
And as far as her saying, because somebody said this in the comments, as far as her saying um, she made a thousand to two thousand dollars a night. First of all, on a Monday, I mean, on, I, Polly, I, got you. I ain't trying to be you feel me, but come on, y'all. Uh, come on. I was walking out that club without making a thousand, two thousand dollars a night. Now, it was some really good nights. OK, we made a lot, lot of money. But Monday through Thursday, you making a thousand to two thousand dollars a night. Yeah, you had to work triple triple shift and sell your vagina because that was not happening. Especially wait, wait. on a Monday, Wednesday. No, nah, get up out of here. That's wait, a lie. Hold on one second. Um, Spotlight, want me to add her right quick? Hold on, I'm going to put you back in. Wait, I got to pause it, right? No, you should be able to add us both together. It said I can't add both of y'all. It could only do one person at a time. Oh, that's wait. whack. So what I got to do, wait, end it or just pause it? Oh, wait, hold on. Is it popping up? But like, where the hell you at? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I, oh, wait. How the hell? Why can't we all three be together? I don't know. This Instagram sucks. Uh, all right, hold on one second. Oh, Spotlight like requested. Yeah. She said you add. How do you do that? I don't know either. Hey, girl. Did Swan make a thousand dollars a day? No, That's she didn't make no Swan th no damn thousand dollars a day. You guys, it was four of us working together sometimes at Sue's, and we all didn't make a thousand. If she made a thousand dollars a day, that means we was making four thousand dollars every damn day with her too. Exactly, and that's out because <laughs> it was every day was not no goddamn. Good and time. and you have to understand. Sometimes they come, sometimes they don't. Some days someone will like you today, they won't like you tomorrow. Like it just is what it is. Oh, I gotta hang up. Okay, well, dang. Oh, Y'all want me to hang on out? Bye. Sheesh. I'm gonna put you back on. Hold on. Okay. Thank you. Wait, it's not letting me leave. It don't want me to leave. You stupid. All right. Let me. Uh, here, here I come. Spotlight. Hold on, y'all. I was about to get high. Yeah. Had a Yo, I just got something to say, <laughs> right? Because this shit is pissing me off. Like. I'm like, I'm like, she spent her whole day talking about this shit. And I'm like, yo, you spend your time worried about this bum ass bitch who frail as hell talking about she makes a thousand a fucking day. You ain't even, the, the bad, the fucking baddest bartender fucking with the ass done and tits ain't making no thousand dollars a day. Not even dancing like that. The fuck out of here. This shit pissing me the fuck off. Then you mean to tell me all this time that went by. And you mad that somebody punched you in your shit? Ain't nobody else punched you in your shit in all these years? Bullshit! Cause with an attitude like that, I wanna punch you in your shit. <laughs> the fuck? Go on, bro. Yo, this, go shit, on. Like, this shit got me so bugged. Like, this shit is crazy. Like, and I'm like, why is she messing in people's names? And then she talking about who fake blood and who banging and this and that. And who, and who can't come back? Yo, fuck, yo, fuck all that. But who can't come back? Who can't come back to Chicago? Yo, no, no bullshit. I will no get, I will, yo, I will pay a thousand bird bitches a bag of weed to go dump that bird bitch. No bullshit. Because this shit is making me mad. Bro, she I thought I had to stay. She was in the DMs and, and somebody told her that she can't huh? come back to Chicago. Like, why Chicago? Cardi don't even have no goddamn affiliation with Cardi. She's been there to host before. But what the fuck they got to do with any damn thing? This is, this is then, that bitch, then, then the shit that got me bugged out. Because I don't even, like, this, I, like, this, this is hollow female shit that go on and all that. But I'm militating diligent. So she be going through shit or whatever. I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. So I'm listening to the shit. I'm over here playing Fortnite and PUBG at the same damn time. And I'm like, hold on. This bitch said she got herpes. Like everyone does and her herpes ain't active. What the fuck? Yo, bullshit. Like who got, I don't got no fucking herpes. <laughs> I, you got herpes? Yo, Ash, yo, yo, me, me and you don't smoke together. I know you ain't got no herpes. Everybody's herpes is sleeping right now. Yo, my herpes is taking a nap. Yo, my herpes is taking a nap. Yo, my herpes is taking a nap. So, you know, let's fuck out of here. That's just bug the fuck out. For real. Everybody then, yo, then, yo, then, look, look, then what got, look, then what got me, right, And she tried to come off, like, on some, like, whole, yeah, Kenya. Erica, 
like she on her Erica Badu vibes, like, like I'm a I'm a healer, like I cl- I cut the root of the tree and I've healed AIDS and and continents that y'all haven't heard of before. Get the fuck out of here! But you walking on the streets of Chicago, you ain't got an Uber, a driver, but you out here healing. Get the fuck out of here! If you cured your own age, why would you? If you cured your own age, why would you need to be in a strip club? You should be in Africa somewhere. No, wait, like, no. Hold on, yo, ad, <laughs> yo, did you see? Did you see the video? Where did that video? She had a video of the chick dancing. That was on her page. I thought yo. it was on your page when she goes stay. Yo, that shit is so <laughs> disrespectful. Whoever hired her or even gave her the audition, that's who we should be bringing on this live to ask why they even gave that bitch a chance or the opportunity. Because if she made a thousand dancer like that, I'm about to be a male stripper and go shake my fucking long ass Johnson around and make a few thousand. Because if she can, yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Look, and this why um with that with that herpes shit, she knew all of that shit. Anybody who got some type of disease, they researching that shit. They trying to motherfucking find out when they shit is, you know, to a T what's going on, when the symptoms and all that shit like that, right? So that's exactly why she knew so much all that shit about herpes shit. That's exactly why she was stating that. But what she was lying about, she was trying to make everybody else like, oh, you got herpes, you got herpes. No, bitch, this not Oprah show. Everybody don't get a car. Everybody But why she pay she, but why she's trying to she trying to paint everybody else, like every any name that she mentions, she tries to paint an image of negativity behind. Like she don't she not once takes blame or accountability for anything that she may have done. Even when she said that dumb shit, like, um, she was they went to some some person's house or whatever, and the guy the hotel. She, yeah, oh, um, was, she was sleeping. Was the was the she hotel. was sleeping and she didn't know her pussy was being lit. Yo, then you really got to go get checked out because whatever cure or healing you doing ain't working because you should have felt everything that was going on. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> nah, because this shit don't make sense. I'm like, I'm just... Yo, just she don't know that man, Dr. Sabi. They should talk about she know Dr. Sabi. She only went over there to visit him just like all those other million one people that have goddamn different diseases. I do believe some of the people that was going to visit Dr. Sabi was, you know, natural herbalists and stuff like that. But a lot of them that was going to see him because they knew he had a cure to shit and they wanted to go get the cure. And that's when her ass went out to the damn jungle. Yo, why nobody didn't get this bitch on, 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 like... Like, cause she going on vlogs and all this other kind of crazy shit. Why but, nobody but challenged nah, her? No, no, it ain't no, it ain't got nothing to do about nobody challenging this bitch. Because what, what needs to be done is somebody needs to run down on this bitch, right? With all the same energy that she's dishing out. It, like, it ain't about putting hands and feet on her or nothing like that. That's not what it's about. You know what I'm saying? Because that same energy. So just like if you say something about me or whatever that's false. And I confront you about it, whether somebody's there, you know what I'm saying, a witness, because it takes two or more to be a witness to something. Think what I'm saying? You can't, I can't punch you in your shit and one person come and say, oh, I've seen it. You could have found that nigga on a bodega smoking a bogey and paid him to come and say you seen it. No, it takes two or more people to solidify something. She don't got nobody to confirm none of this bullshit she talking about. First of all, yes. second of all, second of all, she needs to be ran down on. She needs to be, when I say ran down on, because she probably got one of her little um, fake pages watching y'all or whoever and everything is part of, listen, soaking up, right? So, I gotta use my, um, words wisely because that's, you know, I'm gonna have a secret indictment for terroristic threats and shit because the type of nigga I am. So, all I'm saying is that she needs to be confronted and approached accordingly, right? Because you now, uh, um, it's called, um, what they, what they do it, um, because you can sue people for this. It's called, um, defamation of fucking character. Bitch, you're talking about she had herpes and this and that and all this other kind of crazy shit. And she was a little Spanish uh, girl and this and that and whatever. Yo, word the mother, she wouldn't have that same energy and talking about who blood and who this. How you gonna talk? You, now you getting into shit. Like, now you digging into territories that I don't think you really want to get into. Now you talking about who could come back where and all that. What kind of crazy shit. Like... The fuck out of here. This shit is bugged the fuck out. I'm about to play Fortnite. And why is that she got all these friends that loved her ass too, but nobody has thought to decide? Who loved her ass too? Please let me know. Who is she talking about? Destiny? Yeah. Oh, she. Wait, wait, wait. She talk, wait, wait. I know, I know she's talking about. Hold on, hold on. Destiny, Destiny, Destiny. The all one that had the, um, that the baby. The one that girl, was, there's another girl named Destiny that Cardi was doing the same thing to. I remember nobody named at Destiny that worked at Sue's that was. I don't know what she's talking about. Tasha K interviewing no DJ. DJ Dazon is not about to sit here and entertain this bullshit for a girl that he really didn't even talk to. DJ Dazon is not getting in the middle of this. So I don't know what she's talking about. 
about oh DJ Dave's on had to throw her in a cab. Yo, can y'all, yo, can y'all, can y'all call, yo, can y'all get her on, somebody get her on the live just to ask her nicely? Why is she doing this? Like, what is she want? That's, but bro, we, we trying to figure it out too. She blocked me from her page as soon as the shit came out. But oh, yeah, she blocked day, me too. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, she not, she has no valid reason why she even came out. She just wanted to clout. She don't want to say that. Yeah. But these bloggers. Well, who, but, 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 but I don't understand, like, just because she seemed like she was believable. Sources reached out to her to give like this shit is crazy out Somebody here now. Came forth. You see how all of us is saying something? DJ Dazon never made a video. I didn't talk to DJ Dazon because I didn't even know. She said she wanted to sell her hair product. Hot coffee is <laughs> now. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> She, she said, she, damn body. yo, Everybody matter of fact, yo, whoever said that, who said that? She huh? said that whoever commented said she wanted, matter of fact, because in the video, she did say, like, it's funny, like, you know how people say they, like, if you wasn't trying to sell your hair product, then why mention it? Because she said it in her life. Remember that video? Oh, she I'm said it on her live. She said, I'm not trying product. to sell my Nobody hair product. Nobody even knew you had a hair, hair product until you just it. said it. You meatball. Exactly. Fucking meatball. I know she, she got a hair product. Stuff. This is how she wants clout because at the end of the day, you're she talking about all she was saying beautiful. all this extra stuff about Cardi, but your initial thing was, I didn't want it, all this drama. I I didn't want all this stuff to come at me. All so wait, but you know what's crazy? Y'all gotta really laugh at us. I would actually, if I was y'all, I would be laughing at us because it's like it yo, funny it's not your like bitch. It's like yo, how are you living? You must be living fair. Like she one of them bitches. Like she talking about she healing. She got the mattress in the in the corner with mad pots and pans with roaches running out everywhere. And all. Get the fuck out of here! She, she needed so healing like roaches running out of her fucking wig. That's what she needed to do. The fuck out of here! Exactly. Talking about somebody got this and that. Why, why are you talking about her house being dirty, but she was staying there and you cleaned up your area? And That's what I'm like, saying. Master, did you get rid of the vultures? She's going to say, no, no, ma'am, no, I didn't. So if you was making a thousand, two thousand dollars a night, why the hell did your little dirty ass stay there too? Why you stay there? Why you go back in the room? Like I said, I don't care how good of a friend I am with somebody. I'm not she here. She said she was originally staying at hotels. If it was that bad, why she couldn't just go back to like the hotels? That's what even, I'm she couldn't even go to an extended stay. Or something if she was making that much. And exactly, this is exactly why she did this. She thought, would she get a big, epic motherfucking F, a failure, her and Tasha. You guys get an F, a big ass, fat ass F today. You guys failed tremendously with trying to throw somebody under the bus and use false receipts and shit like that. And the girl has all the receipts that Tasha came up with. A lie was within the receipts. Like how I, I think that Tasha yeah. was extremely unprofessional. First of all, for a journalist, who's Tasha? She's Tasha not a was. Journalist. The, I spoke to love she's or whatever. She's the blogger. She's she the celebrity gossiper, blogger, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, but it. that's what they do, man. People, they like they they just like regardless she of whether she didn't it's, care what I had to say. She was only like like looking for one set of shoes. Yeah, she was like, okay. And she was like, once I was trying to explain that, though? she was, she took one fact. Once I said, once she got confirmation that, oh, well, since the fight is true, then they they everything else must be true. I'm just like, so you took it and ran with it. So because one thing, because you found one thing that was true out of everything that she said, you went ahead and just assumed that everything she said was true. And I'm just like, that's because she was that's, that's that what you see in, in movies. Like when, the, when they say it's based on a true story, they take two facts from, from some shit that, that was in history and they add 99 other opinionations to, to, to make a movie. Like, like it's not fucking real. You know what I'm saying? I, it's I just an image that, that, that you guys like are, are, are believing, a facade that she put out for you to to, to, to bite on, like a, a fish and, and bait. Like you guys exactly. took it. And I'm just like, seriously? No. Like you really are going to believe that fickle shit and no but one's going to question it? Because she only wanted to believe things that made Cardi look crazy. And my thing is this, Tasha... Yo, and this is a black woman, right? This blog is a black woman? Yeah, she's a very, very black woman. A very yeah. black woman. Wow, you're following. Like that. Yeah. 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 Like, she's, 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 no, like, she's like a real black woman. Like, a like, very black woman. If she, wanted to, if she wants to, like, remain credible in this industry and do bloggers and let people, like, get future interviews with her and stuff... You're going to have to do better research and you're going to have to do the research correctly, meaning you're going to have to go to the source. Yeah, you reached out to Spotlight. Yeah, you reached out to Shantae, but you never reached out to none of the girls that she put up on a post. Why? Because you either A, had Marie, Star Marie in your ear saying, no, don't ask none of them. They're just going to make up all this stuff. That's another way she got your ass. And then 
or you just didn't want to ask us nothing because you didn't want to look stupid. But you're supposed to get both sides of the story, and then you're supposed to go ahead and tell your story on back and forth, or you could have had a really good story. You could have had a really good story, but at the end of the day, you decided to go with what was going to make Cardi look bad just because of your personal feelings towards Cardi. And she, the only person she got to, to say this, there was nobody to confirm. Just like he said, there's nobody to even nah, that blog and shit to say that, that the star that is, is, is even saying anything she of burns. truth. Like, so if, if all these people are saying something else. Yo, word the mother, yo, that blog a bitch, she probably what? fat. She fat? No. No, she's not fat. <laughs> I'm not even trying to even, like, downgrade this girl her looks. I don't, to me, yeah, fuck her. Fuck it's not about that. My thing is, it's just that she didn't it's do her, her research right. She only was one-sided with the whole interview, and I don't think that was fair. And she only did that because she personally don't like um, Cardi. She's a Nicki Minaj fan. Shit. Who cares? That's what it felt like. Like, huh? like, like it's supposed to be all about... Yeah, somebody said she could look like Boosie. Oh. <laughs> 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 like <boosting. laughs> Yo, we weak right now. Yo, you got to get that one credit. Come on, we got to laugh. Ah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> and and, and you know, at the end of the day, we could, be, we could be like her, like Tasha and Stoop to her level because yeah. everything that Swan was saying, she was basically going along with it and talking to her <laughs> party and the same thing. Like, that doesn't make sense. That's not a real blogger. Like, Lovely <laughs> Key didn't do her shit like that. She pulled receipts. And I don't care if people say that. Yo, oh, yeah. these girls. Her name is Boosie the Blogger. I just thought, I just thought, like, there was no type of women's empowerment from from either side. As much as he, the uh, Swan talked about it, she she didn't seem empowering. She just seemed to, like, try to down her and talk nasty about her. And then Lovely T just, you know, like, little nasty little schoolgirl. Like, like, Like I said, that's how I was when I first started out stripping. I was petty like that. And she wondered why she got beat up because of dumb shit. Like, like the shit that they're doing now is the shit that I used to do. Like, like real dumb, petty shit. Like, that's mean. And that's, I mean, it is what it is. But Swan still was, she was bad shit. Like, she was, she would make you challenge your own, whatever was going on in your own head. Just because just she really had an explanation for the dumb shit she came up with. Yes. That girl, that girl, I'm not telling y'all. I'm telling y'all, that girl is like, you know how you got one of those dumb, smart people who everything that comes out their mouth because they use like certain words or certain words. You so, you're so smart, you dumb. <laughs> yeah, make people feel like, like, you know, you real smart. I'm not saying she's not educated or nothing, but she was just one of those girls that was like a, a fake philosopher to me. Everything she had an experience for. Everything she had a story for. Like, I hate that. that. I hate no that. Sense. Hold on, Shanti, hold on. Um, Wait, let me get Shanti back right And she's not like she's your boy love with a with a reason for everything. I want to know how she. I want to know. I want to know how she put her herpes to sleep. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's why she said her shit ain't active. So I mean that that just don't. I, girl, I don't even know what to say about that. Like, nobody, <laughs> it, it wasn't like somebody said who was her friend at Sue's. After, like I said, Sue's was one of those welcoming clubs. When I first came there, I didn't really know nobody. But as time goes by, you know, <laughs> girls start to adapt to you, adapt to them. Swan wasn't somebody that like right old like, like good friends at all. We were all of us that's in this has been in this life. All of us has hang hung out outside of the club, in the club, all of that. We were at, we're actually friends. This damn we don't get was like shit. Was a co-worker. She was a co-worker to all of us. So it's not that we definitely nobody like all of a sudden came in the game hating her, not liking her. But at the end of the day, she started rubbing people the wrong way. She got into it not only with black girls, she got into it with Spanish girls too. So at the end of the day, she was a freaking she was full of drama. She was she was full of drama. And she oh, wasn't there you, when Sue. she wasn't even there when Sue's changed either. No, like she wasn't there with the renovations. Like she, she couldn't even say Sue's was funny because Sue's wasn't funny before the renovations. Exactly. And but it's not like um this girl is saying it like it's it's a like she like everybody has S T D because you have a cold sore or a pimple and shit like that. So every day everybody walk around with pimples and shit like got herpes. It's, it's, a, it's a different types of herpes, but and we know that it's a virus and you like like I think it was grown folks. Like I said, everybody has a complex of of something, but um that means Yo, nice seeing you since I ain't seen you in mad long. I know. Since, Ever since I had to beat that nigga up on the highway, then he went to beat, try to oh beat police. Guys, guys, my.
my 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 friend's husband is crazy. Okay, don't listen to him. I know, I'm not crazy. I'm I just I'm not I don't be with the bullshit like. I'm not with the shit. <laughs> no, I don't be I don't be with the shits or whatever like. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bye. Good seeing you. All right. Bye. See you later. Spotlight. <laughs> later. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Ashanti, come back. Guys, this is... Hey, Jay, so shady. <laughs>